Hello and welcome to another episode of Perfect Pitch. Yes, we've done one a week later as we should be doing the whole season. Uh, yeah, unfortunately Zara's not here today, but do you know what? We've got second best. All right, Ellen. I'm being attacked by my cat. And me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh well ali we've got a lot to talk about then should, listen should we just jump straight in uh to the about, yep. uh the leicester match the wsl match that we had on sunday it's exhausting as well that one i was it? gonna Go on. say that was that was hard work when it that was nail biting <laughs> stuff that one was we got down to what the 80 odd minute before we scored it was 80 83 wasn't it I yeah. think it was, yeah, yeah. Mind you, I mean, Izzy, when she came on, I think that was like 20 minutes earlier, really, uh, yeah. made a massive difference. Didn't she make an impact when she came on? We literally said this is why she comes on, like mm. the pace and the speed of that one. And she's another one that you look at and she's a slight little thing, but mm. isn't scared of a tackle, isn't scared to go up against someone who's like twice her size yeah. and absolutely nailed that goal. Mm. And they did it how I said they were going to do, which is down the wing, because Viv played it down the wing, crossed it over to Izzy, she took a couple of touches, which Conch very unceremoniously was like, she took too many. <laughs> but yeah. went in the back of the net, and a, and a goal is a goal, and three points, and we're back up to six. Yeah, but can I do the worrying bit? You know I'm a stats, stats gal, right? <laughs> 17 shots on target, less, uh, sorry, 17 shots and three on target Leicester had. We had eight shots and two on target. Now, that is a little bit worrying that they managed to try and get 17 shots. I know, don't get me wrong, some of them I don't even think were in the right direction at all. No. Um, but it's still 17 shots. So, yeah, we were saying this on Sunday. We shouldn't be letting Leicester get that close. We shouldn't let any team get that close to do those shots. We were lucky that they didn't have their shooting boots on. Um, mm. And also, Mac made some great saves to mm -hmm. keep us in. Um, but then again, on our side, we could we could have had three goals in the fact that their goalkeeper kept mishandling the ball, and we're lucky twice that she didn't. Well, unlucky even she put that she didn't get it across the uh, line because she dropped it twice. Yeah, I think we thought it was in a couple of times, didn't we? Yeah. It, was at the other end. Yeah, it was a little bit like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's done. A goal's a goal. Got loads to work on, though, let's be honest. But Sissoko yes. should be back next match because it's five-match ban. I can't work it out. Is that yeah. about right? On a about WSL. Right, yeah. She's not back at Birmingham, though, was she? Don't think so. No. So, no. So, right, okay. So, we've got a lot to work on with the WSL. Now, from that, to going on to the Conti Cup, which is this Sunday. And, like, we are in Group B, aren't we? Uh, no, Group C uh, yeah. with... Brighton <laughs> played again for you, for you, and yeah. London City Lionesses. Oh, I think at the top of the league of the championship, aren't they again? I they're, think they're doing well. They're doing well. Mm. They're not quite that high, but they're doing well. Yeah. So you know, so it's not an easy group to be fair, is it? And and we're starting off with uh, Birmingham. Obviously, uh, Darren Carter seems to be doing a pretty decent job. They're fifth in the league as well, um, and they've won against uh, the last uh, three matches. One against Bristol City. Lost yep. against, we just mentioned, the Lionesses, 3-2 uh, away. But one thing I did notice, they scored in two minutes of extra time, right? And then they yep. also won before that home uh, to Sheffield again, but with the winner again coming in injury time. So bearing in mind then, meaning they don't lose hope if they get behind yep. essentially so so that's like i hate that because that's a real threat you know <laughs> when a team has that sort of belief that's a massive threat um anyway go on now <laughs> i'll be talking <laughs> otherwise all the time <laughs> so the thing is i think we can say so we're already in a good position because we've got two points because we've got the extra point when we played london city birmingham did beat brighton so they've got three points so we cannot afford to do with what we did in london city which is play the kids we did that at London City and we went behind really quickly, 2-0. We need to play it as if it's like a cup final. So we need a full strength squad. I know the temptation is to rest them more for the league, but let's be honest, Conti Cup is where we're most likely to get silverware, you know, and the FA Cup cup runs are what West Ham are aiming for at the moment. So we need to have a full strength squad against Birmingham because if we beat Birmingham, then we only have to draw against Brighton and we're through. 
So Which that's is going to be a tough one as well, Brighton. Yeah. You know? Mm. No, you're absolutely right, Al. Um, the thing is, as well, what we've got on the bench anyway, you know, we've not got much leeway anyway, to be fair. So, and for me, there's only one really that sticks out. Sorry for Birmingham fans if you're watching, but it was Lucy Quinn last season. Yeah. Always in the middle, always hard to deal yeah. with as well. Not to confuse, because there's two Quins in the side now as yeah. well. There's a, a Louise, Louise Quinn, Quinn, I think her name. Yeah, yeah, defender as well. So, you know, always in the middle, always hard to deal with. I would like to make sure that Mel Phyllis is, is, uh, comes as she starts. That's what I would like to we see. Need, well, I want her. We wanted it um, for the, last week's game and we didn't get it. Is I want Abby and Mel in the middle mm. together because then we can push Dagny up. Because the problem is, is we've got Dagny smack bang in the middle as a midfielder, and she's not aggressive enough for the type of play that we have mm. in midfield. She's there to like jump, get her head on it, and score and lead that way. But we need a tougher midfield. And if Kate is being played back, which she is at the moment with Sissoko out, then we need to have Abby and Mel in the middle together and run in the midfield that way. So listen. Who else have we got? To watch out for. Obviously, I mean, I mentioned uh, Quinn. Obviously, uh, both the Quins, because Louise Quinn is on a scoring streak at the moment, mm. even though she's a defender. So mm. both the Quins are the two that you need to keep a mm. watchful eye out on. As I say, I think Darren Carter's. I think he had a two-year contract uh, just before the end of the the previous yeah. season. So I think you know he's doing really well. He's a Birmingham player, ex Birmingham Birmingham player himself as well. So you know that that yeah. always. Uh, gives more of insight as well into the way that the fans want you to play as well. And it looks like they're doing it. I say they're sitting fifth. Yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it? I don't know. It's, it was a tough group, to be fair, right? Yeah. It was tough last time we managed to do it, so I reckon we can do it again. Yeah, yeah. So, scores then out? 2-1 West Ham. Okay. Who do you reckon is going to sit on the bench for us, but you wish that could come off the bench? Ooh. Oh, no, I threw that one in, didn't I? It's curveball. Yeah. Curveball. Yeah. I think it's probably going to be our Norwegian. Um, uh-huh. Because Thea. he mm. started her a couple of times. Thea started a couple of times. And then she's been on the bench. And But again, when she comes on, there's this spark that she has that mm. brings the team to life. We saw it again on Sunday against mm. Leicester. He brought her on and she's there doing these great passes she's getting in the thick of it and stuff like that and she's a really talented youngster and that's one youngster i would have yeah know. i mean when you look at our squad i say it all the time it is exciting because yeah. they are but there's a few bits and pieces just missing and a couple of people are not working together as, as well as they should have essentially no. i think so again always say it if parker out yeah. and sosoko out you know it's going to be a tough one but okay so i am going to go uh oh oh i think oh it might be a draw I went 4 um, 1, didn't I, for Leicester, that yeah. we were going to win. I went I can't too do confident. Penalties again. I can't do <laughs> penalties again, Joe. That's exactly why I've gone for a draw. I think it's going to, because it's just going to be that way. And, and again, as well, as I say, uh, they, they come from behind, I reckon. I really do think they do. I think we're going to attack with all guns blazing. Again, I'm sure I've said that at least two or three times this season, <laughs> um, if not more, maybe every time. Um, but I say with their record that they've got, scoring injury time as well. I, yeah, I just, I'm a little bit worried about this one, I must admit. More than I've been about a few of the WSLs. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm a little bit worried about this one, to be fair. Yeah, they're, they're a hard bunch. Uh, they're like the old Reading, I think. That's how I put them there. They're a really <laughs> tough squad, are they? they really are. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go for a draw and, and pens, and then we're going to win. Uh, that's what we're going to go for. <laughs> My art can't take pens, so <laughs> we're going to get us a win outright. <laughs> exciting that's what we love make sure as well that the vuvu zayla um is working uh, this time yeah i i i, I think i got too overzealous with it and yep. uh, it broke didn't broke it? it yeah yeah so uh, that'll be back uh, next sunday so come along and uh, support the hammers and uh yeah it's cheap tickets as well isn't it Al, this, this time yeah well? yeah it's only a fiver in i believe so yeah excellent stuff right, anything else anything else you want to add Al? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm just excited for it. Yeah, totally up for this one. Can't wait for the pens. Right, see you (laughs) later. Thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. (laughs) 